Hey guys, welcome back to B2 here today in the new video. Today we're taking a look at Sulphur. Brand new first major update for Sulphur has just dropped. Now the game is still doing great for reviews and everything. If you don't know what Sulphur is, you haven't heard of it or you haven't seen my previous video, check out uh, my thoughts after the first eight hours of playing the game. It's kind of like a review, it's sort of like a first impressions more than anything. But Sulphur, in my opinion, is one of the best indie games out right now, one of the best ones of the year for sure. And I love the game, and seeing this first major update and how great it was, I really wanted to make a video on it. So the main biggest complaint about Sulphur, besides sort of the FPS issues at times, is the storage space. In the base game, uh, when it first went into early access and in the demo, you only had your own like chest safe sort of storage that you could use in the hideout when you were in between uh, runs. It was one page and it was a decent amount of space but when you start to really want to keep guns and try out different runs with different guns and stuff like that you find yourself running out of space pretty fast especially if you like to try and hoard up on food which is something you need to do to be successful in the game. So there wasn't quite that much space there and everyone was sort of complaining about it even in the positive reviews you'd be like I wish there was some more space in here wish we had a little more room upgradable stash size would be nice well the developers saw that and normally uh, the average developer I'm sure would just add you know 10,000 gold you can buy page 2 in your stash 50,000 gold you can buy page 3 in your stash but sulfur is a cut above the rest and instead we have five brand new storage items that you can actually find and like earn in your runs. I'm gonna tell you exactly where you can get them all and you know, you'll see how big those bad boys are. They give you a lot of storage space and I'll show you where they go in your hideout once you do find them as well. Now the first one that you're gonna be able to get right away is buying the safe from Stiff Leg. So this is in your like hideout, the normal trader guy who's like right inside the church kind of goes like well <laughs> or something like that whenever you talk to him well the that sort of bleh, that guy will sell you a safe and the safe all these items are going to be able to hold any mix of anything it's just more storage space they didn't make it restrictive maybe in a future patch they'll make it so like the fridge for example what we're going to look at later will only hold food but currently all of them can hold any item it's just straight up more storage space so you can buy the safe from stiff leg it is pretty expensive i think it was like 35 grand or something like that it's a fair chunk it's a good amount but there's nothing to really grind for in the game so it does add some incentive for doing more runs and saving up some cash you can get yourself more storage space by buying the safe and you can buy this i believe even in a run but the guy in the main church area will have it so you can just buy it and it'll put it right in your hideout and uh, you can see in the video that's where it goes and that's how much room it has and it's pretty cool right it's just more storage in exchange for some cash now the rest of these you're gonna be able to actually find or beat a boss to earn so let's get straight into those the next easiest like quickly available one that you can get for yourself is the suitcase which you can earn by defeating cousin the first boss in the caves now i don't know if it's 100 percent drop rate but i'm pretty sure it is like the first time you beat cousin after this patch he should drop the suitcase and if not then i guess i'm wrong you have to do it again but not that tall of a task hive in order you just have to go do a cave run defeat cousin and then get out with the suitcase that he drops. Now keep in mind, with these ones that I'm going to go through, all the rest of them besides the safe, um, you need to have quite a lot of storage space in your inventory. So be prepared to drop stuff that you have. Um, some of these items, like later on there's a wardrobe, there's a fridge, they take up pretty much your entire inventory. So don't be bringing in like backup guns, stuff like that. Don't be expecting to have a bunch of room, because if you want to get these items, you're going to have to drop stuff. And a little sort of tip hint for you guys is that if you're in a run and you find one of these items and you also find like the stash access where you're in a run and you can still go into your stash using like the, you know, little case thing. So if you, let's say you find a suitcase and I mean that's the end of that area anyway so you get out. It doesn't really apply but if you find fridge which we'll go over later and it's so big it takes your whole inventory but you also have a stash there. You can put fridge in the stash, but it's not going to unlock fridge when you finish your run unless it is in your player inventory when you extract and when you leave the run. So it will be in your stash when you get out, but it won't actually unlock fridge, meaning you can then empty your inventory, put fridge in your inventory, 
buy like a metal charge, an amulet charge for a thousand, just go in and then teleport out. And then that will unlock fridge. So you can put them in your stash to get them out instead of having to empty your inventory if you're able to. But just keep in mind that you will then have to put them back in your inventory and extract with these new storage containers in your inventory for it to actually apply them and unlock them. But anyways, suitcase you get from beating cousin, pretty easy. Uh, you'll get it without much trouble at all. And it takes up this much space and it's in this area. And that's pretty much it. We'll go on to the next one, which is the refrigerator. So for the refrigerator, when you're in the sewers sections, this is like the uh, after town, I believe. So the third world. When you're in sewers, sometimes if you're, you know, keeping a keen eye, you'll see these like holes in the ground where you can go down like a sewer pipe tunnel and you go through the water for a while, then you go horizontally for a while and then you go up on different pipe. In there will be the fridge. So you can find a couple of these different places in one run, like in one sewers run, you'll run into a few of these like sort of secret tunnels that you can swim through. You will take damage from swimming through this tunnel unless you have the oxygen mask or you know some other item that adds underwater breathing time. Otherwise you are gonna take damage by doing this. So just make sure you have food and like as you're swimming through, once you start to get hurt, just eat something and it'll heal it back up. And then, you know, you need the same for the trip back. So just be careful with that. But in general, you should be fine. You just swim. It's literally straight down, straight horizontal, straight up. Sometimes you have to wakazashi sword through some stuff to get through, but you should be fine. And then yeah, fridge is one of the huge ones. This thing takes up you know, almost like probably 80% of your inventory, so be ready for that as well. It is a fridge after all, you know, if you're gonna pack a fridge out, you're gonna need to <laughs> make some space to carry that. But it then goes in this place in your hideout and it holds this much. And uh, it's pretty cool, great place to put your food. Like I said though, you can put any item in it, but uh, yeah, there's the fridge. Now the last two items, uh, the new storage containers, are both in Castle, which is the very end of the game. So you're gonna need to be basically someone who's done a full run of the game already and you're good enough and you understand what you're getting into and how to do the rest of the game and stuff. Of course, if you want to get to Castle and you have already done a decent run or finished the game, you can start from the maze and just go from there into Dungeon into Castle. It's not too bad uh, as, as an endeavor. Just make sure you bring lots of ammo and, you know, try and keep in mind again that you have to drop a bunch of stuff. But I find that in Castle you often run into those little stash uh, access points, which is nice. But the second to last item here, the chest drawer, is in Castle in this sort of room that has like a bunch of crates and barrels and stuff. It's like one of the sort of pre-render rooms that you'll see. A bunch of crates and barrels and then you'll see the chest drawer as well. And now this is sort of like a little end table drawer thing and it looks like this and it holds that much. And uh, yeah, you just pick it up, get it out. This is, I think, the smallest of the ones that you can actually pick up. They're like suitcase, and then chest drawer is a little bigger than suitcase, and then fridge is huge, and then wardrobe is massive. They're both massive, but wardrobe's slightly bigger. So chest drawer isn't too bad, it's not too big. You can fit it in like a quarter inventory or so. And then uh, the thing is though, like I said, both of these last two are in castle. So if you want to extract with both of them, uh, don't think you actually have room to fit wardrobe and uh, desk drawer, whatever it's called, what did I just call it? Chest drawer. I don't think there's room to fit that and the closet wardrobe thing. So you're gonna have to get the one from the beginning of castle and then moving on to the closet, the final one, it's this big Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe looking closet. Um, you get this after beating the final boss, uh, currently the final boss in the castle, the big screaming flying lady. You beat her and uh, it's kind of just sitting in the background in the corner. You can then go grab it. Um, you're gonna have to make a lot of room because it takes up your whole inventory except for I think one row and one column. So it's pretty massive. But when you get it out, it gives you this much more storage space and it sits right there. Now that you know where all of them are, you can gather them all for yourself and the amount of storage you're gonna have is going to be insane. Just going over the numbers for you guys really quickly here at the end. The original normal stash that you've had this whole time in the game that you start with is a 12 by 14 storage container that holds 168 items or squares of items anyways. The suitcase is a 10 by 6 that holds 60 so that's the one you're going to get from cousin. The safe is a nice square 10 by 10, so 100 more squares you're gonna get by getting the safe. 
by buying it from the original trader. The fridge is an eight by 14, so that's 112 more slots that you're gonna get by having the fridge. The chest drawer is a 13 by eight, so that's 104 more squares of storage. And finally, the biggest container in the whole game, even bigger than your normal stash, the closet, the sort of like wardrobe, is a 13 by 14, 182 new slots of storage. So when you look at all of this in the end, you have went from, you know, a single storage stash to this huge amount of room where you can put pretty much anything. I mean, we can't complain about much anymore. You'll be able to have, you know, like triples of every gun, triples of the Barracuda, triples of everything that you want, you know, cool guns, mess around with guns. You don't have to worry about trying to like put your actual good guns while you mess with some new ones and you can keep a whole bunch of food, different armor sets you can now mess around with. You get to really play around with the game now, which is great because there's so much to really bite into the meat of in this game and the different weapons and the crazy stuff you can do with them. That now you have the freedom to do it since you have the storage space to really work with what you've got there and really mess around. So I'm super excited to be able to get to play again and uh, unlock these items and mess around with all this new space that we've got. And really, you know, stock up on some food for the winter. I don't have to worry about anything in sulfur again, pretty much set and good to go. That's about it anyways. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope that you learned something if you were trying to find out about these items where you can get them. Now you know and you know exactly how to go and find them for yourself. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Sulfur masterpiece. Let me know what you think of Sulfur down below and let me know what you think about this new update. This is their first major update. I think they knocked it out of the park. Way more above and beyond effort what I expected or what could have been acceptable. We would have all been fine with just page two of the stash. Instead, they went above and beyond and they made this really interactive experience of unlocking and finding the items. And I'm just, I'm really happy with the game. I think the devs are crushing it. And uh, it's been great.